ground. Ukrainian civilians are massively mobilizing to fight the Russian invasion. Some joining the armed forces, others donating supplies. Our senior reporter, Catherine Norris Trent, uh, has been covering this for us in the city of Dnipro. She told us more about the Ukrainian resistance and about the fighting in the south of the country. We've seen here an incredible spirit of resistance in the city of Dnipro, which is Ukraine's third largest city in, in the center of the country as you head southeast. Uh, and people here are frantically organizing to try and prevent the onslaught of Russian troops. So in the center of town yesterday, we saw some incredible scenes with people literally rushing around to, to pack up whatever they could find, supplies of clothes, medicine, blankets, even hand-making Molotov cocktails and, and doing whatever they could to play their part in the fight against the Russian troops. And it was really quite a scene, the, the, the pace of the organisation, the energy. People are spending hours literally running around, ferrying boxes and crates of goods for cars, delivering them to uh, Ukrainian fighters on the front line or to hospitals where injured people, injured soldiers have been arriving in this region in recent days. The situation is very fluid in the south of Ukraine. So we've had Russian troops who've been advancing north from Crimea, which Russia annexed in 2014. And there's been some really fierce battles in the south, which are still raging. So uh, the, the town of Mykolaiv has been coming uh, under fire from Russian artillery again overnight. And there's been battles surrounding uh, the, the city of Melitopol, which is again towards the south near the Sea of Azov. So these are crucial targets. There's also been uh, Russian troops uh, in Kherson, where there's a major uh, power nuclear reactor. So it's really important, uh, strategic targets in this area. As you can see, I'm on the banks of the river. This is the Dnieper River, the major waterway throwing, uh, flowing excuse me, down through Ukraine. And there are several strategic important sites uh, on here. So you've got uh, nuclear power stations, you've got hydroelectric dams. There's a lot of infrastructure here which is vital to Ukraine. And as part of this multi-pronged attack, this invasion by, by Russian troops we're seeing, so they're not only coming from the north, they're not only targeting the capital Kiev, but this southern region is a crucial zone. And the troops, the Russian troops, have been gaining some ground, although they are meeting fierce resistance and the battles are continuing in this very contested zone.